what's going on you guys it's the mix welcome back to the channel another video today i wanted to talk about this player because he was actually wasn't able to play for the gillas in these new fiba asia cup qualifying games that are currently being played and being played this week but i want to talk about antenio star angelo kwame and it's just something that might happen in the future for the national basketball team after kwame got the endorsement from the senator with the filing of the bill that will possibly grant him Philippine citizenship. The 20-year-old from Ivory Coast, who has been playing for three years now in the UAAP, is set to become the youngest player in the country's pool of naturalized players. So it's, it's being said that 6'10 Kwame, who actually averaged 12 points, 11 rebounds, 2.9 blocks, and 1.4 assists in season 82, and he was a vital player in Antonio's 16 and 0 sweep and 3P title romp. And I think a lot of people don't realize how impactful something like this could could be for the Gillas being just 20 years old. Uh, Angelo Kwame being a part of the Gillas program at a young age is going to be a big deal for his uh, development and definitely for the Gillas program. Um, I think a player like Kwame, he kind of reminds me of a like a. I would say maybe like a less skilled Giannis. He's 6'10", but he could really run the floor and handle the basketball. I think he's got growing basketball IQ. And honestly, he plays very aggressive, which I think a player of his size can, you know, it's very uh, helpful when a player of his size plays aggressive like that. And if you just look at some of the highlights, I mean, he definitely can run the floor and he can handle the ball pretty well. And he has a soft and highly effective finish around the rim. I don't think there's many times he goes up to, for a shot or to score the basket where uh, it's not a high percentage shot. Also, his three-point shot is growing. And overall, his game has grown a lot in the three seasons he's been in Antonio. And for him to come in and play for the Gillis and create that young um, presence in the post and in the center of the paint, um, I don't think there's another real prospect as big as him um, defensively. Um, you know, players like Kai Soto and uh, AJ Edu, those players are very skilled offensively, so to add Angelo Kwame to the fold um, along with those two players, I think that's a very, very promising front court that, you know, can compete um, with other countries with bigger players in international tournaments. So, like I said, just wanted to make this video, talk about Angelo Kwame. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about his ceiling and his overall impact if he does get granted eligibility to play for the Gilas. Let me know in the comments. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, have a good day.